Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here again, and in today's video we are going to be checking out another handheld. Now I've done a lot of videos on handhelds. More recently I've done a video on the Odroid Go. Now this is a really, really cool kind of open source console which you can buy for $32, which is an insane price for something as cool as this. And it plays your Game Boy games really, really well. Um, there's pretty much no screen tearing after the new update, which if you haven't checked out, I definitely would recommend that. So what are we going to check out in today's video? Well, this. So I'm not sure if you remember, but probably about four or five months ago, I made a video on this little beast, which was a handheld console which you could build yourself. I believe the kit was about £40 or something like that. And this was very kindly given to me by my friends Dan and Kate. Uh, it had a tiny little um, LCD, LED kind of screen in the middle. You could play games like Tetris and whatnot on it. Um, the game that it actually came with um, right out of the box was a kind of Flappy Bird type thing. Um, but the software was absolutely incredible on online. You could go ahead and make your own games and flash them on this runoff of an Arduino. And then not too long ago, um, there was a release of the Arju... Uh, I, I believe it was called the Arju Boy, but I might be completely wrong on that. Um, and that basically was a similar thing to that, except just far, far higher quality. It was like a tiny little credit card thing. A lot of you guys have asked me to make videos on it. Um, but it's so expensive, it's literally like 70, 80 pounds. So my friend Sean over at the SJM4306 channel decided he would make his own one. Now this thing runs the same games, you can download them exactly the same, except it's completely built by him. And it's just mentally cool. The screen is incredibly high quality. It doesn't look like, you know, like a retail product or something like that, but I kind of really like that because functionality wise, it is just off the charts. It's absolutely perfect. Um, it looks it looks fantastic as well. The screen is just such a high quality. It runs off of three AA batteries, and basically, let's check it out. So we're certainly not going to be comparing this to anything else that I own because it really, really isn't like anything else that I own. It's a completely kind of sandbox uh, open source console um, which actually runs off of entirely homebrew games. There isn't any like retail games, it doesn't emulate Game Boys um, or anything like that. It's just extremely cool. So on the back you have the um, AA triple battery holder, you have a mini USB cable, I imagine for that's for downloading games. A little bit of a uh, hot glue there and some pretty exposed wire which looks quite scary. There's a couple of LEDs on the back which we'll see in a minute. I'm not sure what that is. And then you have the beautiful, beautiful screen, which we're going to actually just take the screen protector off now and check out in a moment. Then you have the power switch, you have a speaker in the middle, um, you have your D-pad and your, your action buttons. So let's go ahead and turn it on. And then you have the, the lights on the back going crazy. And let's just zoom in on this screen because it is just absolutely incredible. So look at the quality of that screen, like it is just insane. There is no latency or anything like that, it's mental. So let's go for a little bit of gameplay here. Um, I believe this is called Mystic Balloons. You can just tell how beautiful this screen is. There might be a little bit of, um, of a refresh rate problem and that's just my camera not picking that up properly. Um, so you, you kind of play this tiny little thing which looks a little bit like um, Snoopy the dog. I don't know if you guys remember that. And you have this thing which sucks in, and you've got your jump, and then you've got balloons if you double jump. So really, really cool. Um, there's your coins. And then you can float across. It's a really, really well-made game. Um, really nice sounds as well. Oh, I fell down. Really, really nice thing. And this just works so well. I'm just running, um, playing this off of these little buttons at the bottom. Maybe in, um, when you got a little, um, when you jump on, oh, I fell down again, whoopsie. Um, when you jump on those little uh, vent type things, it blows you up, which is a really, really cool mechanic. This is really similar to um, Klonoa. I don't know if you guys have ever played that. Um, really, really cool game. Except you don't use this quite the same 
action mechanics, but still really, really cool. Um, so potentially in a later revision, Sean might come out with like a case for this, or even similar to the um, console here, where it kind of had this slightly acrylic design. It makes the thing really, really bulky, but you have to remember these things are made, being made by hand, um, which is really, really cool. It'd also actually be quite nice to see Sean release this in a kit, so for people who um, would like to you know, get into making their own consoles, this seems like quite a relatively simple thing to do. Might not be, that might not look that simple, but um, I'm sure Sean would be able to make a uh, really, really user-friendly kit, as he is a very knowledgeable person. It runs really, really well. Um, I'm just so astonished by how incredible this thing turned out to be. When Sean pitched me the idea of sending this thing to me, um, I kind of was a little bit skeptical because, you know, I've seen some of the, um, I've seen some of the other handmade consoles, and they've never quite been too fantastic, but I knew Sean was going to come out with something crazy. Let's just try and get this last balloon, or whatever it is, coin. There we go. We're a beast. It's not quite the um, the Odroid Go finished wise, but I'm sure that would have looked like this to begin with. Also, if he is going to make this, um, he probably would have to license it as something else other than that, um, because and maybe even some different games, because otherwise it is just going to be a blatant copy of the actual um, console itself. So thank you very much guys for checking out this video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. If you haven't liked the video, then please already do. And if you haven't rung that little bell button, then I certainly recommend you do. Um, just, just saying, it's not a biased opinion at all. Right, I'll catch you in the next video guys. Peace.